Taipan 3 is trying to become the first proper charter motor yacht based in Thailand year-round, offering great local sights, stunning aquamarine waters in hidden away coves, and beautiful remote beaches. The yacht herself is older, but she's inviting from even the first glance when I approached in the dinghy. On board, her sun deck is one of her best features, along with her air-conditioned bar and the spacious main saloon, which has plenty of seating for everyone. But it's not just the boat that matters, of course, when you're trying to choose a charter. I also went on board to see whether the yacht is outfitted properly for Thailand's cruising areas. I found her swim platform big enough for our group, which generally enjoyed the primary activities of scuba diving, riding on the two wave runners that Taipan 3 carries, and fishing from the smaller center console boat that is part of the charter rate when you choose to book the larger yacht. On land, I found some villages to be congested with everyday hustle and bustle, while other villages were a little bit cleaner with cleared away sidewalks that were more geared toward letting tourists walk around and take a look at silk scarves and jewelry that were available for sale. Truthfully though, what's on shore doesn't matter all that much in a place like Thailand. The reason to charter a yacht in a destination like this is the remote areas that boats like Taipan 3 can reach. This is just one pristine harbor that we had all to ourselves for the better part of an entire day. It's difficult to find any place so solitary and relaxing in more developed charter regions around the world. Beaches in Thailand, too, we were able to find in the middle of nowhere. We had this particular beach all to ourselves for the better part of an entire morning, staying at least two hours before a single other human being even cruised by on a tour boat, let alone came on shore with us. Taipan 3's crew were always nearby, of course. In this case, staying with us on the beach, but waiting in the shade until our group decided that it was time for a cool drink in the hot sun. And when we did want civilization, our captain took us to places like this bay, which was full of resorts and restaurants where we could mingle with other tourists and just stay off the boat a little while so we didn't go too stir-crazy. I personally preferred the food on board, things such as exotic fresh fruits and five-star dinners. And all in all, I do think Taipan 3 has a lot of potential offering charters in Thailand. The question, of course, is whether she's worth the current rate of $160,000 a week that the owner hopes to get. Mm -hmm.